Hey guys and welcome back to Feed the Beast Unleashed. Um, a lot has changed since my last episode. I mean you guys might recognize some stuff if you watch these episodes back to back. But yeah we pretty much found out that the... Let's go down here. Yeah? As you can see some new stuff. The little train cart durability was not that great and you couldn't leave diamonds in it so it would repair when it needed to as soon as you had the diamond in there it would stop okay now that was pretty damn annoying so you know we would come back we come back from work or something you know having put the diamond in there the morning before I left and the entire boiler would have stopped there would be no coal left in it you know it's just completely drained because the train guard doesn't last so we we just weren't very happy so we had to look into other systems and had a look so we decided to do some uh, magmatic engines or um, i think they're called magmatic engines off of our same lava source as we are running upstairs now this we first had uh, two of these rows and we started running a quarry lovely that worked really well and then we got uh oh a bit of lag there. Then we got uh two more rows and we started running our system and it seems now that uh, the boiler is up and running again we he took out the cable that powered our system. So I think I'll put probably link that back in or just move the quarry thing. Because at the moment we're wasting lava. So let's do that. Turn that off and change the link. What am I doing? Another thing we're going to do in this episode is oh, yeah, let's go show you the quarry after I've put this in. So, has he set this up right? No, he has not. No, he has. Fine. quarry say frequency so miscraft you can't spawn in a creative book anymore for some reason we're getting some major lag there so I couldn't create them um, you know as I call it the perfect mining world so we decide we're just gonna go mine out the ocean now as most people tend to do on their servers so it's finally loading. I don't know why it's taking so long these days. Probably doing too many things. As you can see, we've ran a quarry in this area. One that was that happened last night, pretty much. And now we're busy running another one here. All right now, all the diamonds that we got out of the first one has already been used because we made the adv the best. Steve's cart woodcutter which uses Galgadorian now to make that you need five Galgadorian to make Galgadorian you need a whole block of diamonds plus some extra to make the, the other ingots and then you could get two Galgadorian ingots so you, you, you pro I think it ends up being like I didn't make it my friend made it but it ends up being like 12 or 14 something odd diamonds to make uh, two Galgadorian. But the good thing about it, and it's busy cooking in here, it's uh, taking a long time. And we actually had to use, we couldn't use the standard doll, we had to use the doll as a tier higher than that. Um, yeah, it takes a long time to process. He's still just fueling it and all that. So, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go and set up a automated ore pulverizing and turning into bars as you guys can see we've made a few more discs uh, we currently have double of uh, four k of blocks 16k and 4k i don't know why but he thought that was a good idea and we're using 22 units 22 mj per tick so this works great we're teleporting the items with the inner chest to here and then we have a 
what you call it, uh, import bus into our ME network. So I already have the pulverizers, and as you can see, I've made some pulverized off of most of the basic ores. And the reason for that is because we need to go define them in the disk. So let's go define them in the disk, that way we can do the automation. Oh, but we shouldn't define them there. We, sh we should define them in the dusts. Which I think is this one. So they will just pass through the system pretty much. It's just a basic thing. So we got shiny metal, lead, never quartz, fluix dust, iron dust. Not really, it's just polarized lead. So we got lead there, so we'll skip that. So there is silver, gold, iron, tin, copper, and ferrous metal. Now, for cesium, along with monazit, we are going to be using, let's just do format, take that disk out. We are going to be using it a lot once we set up the wither farm. So you can see it's starting to have a clog up because we don't have the dust in and it's sorted. So I'm going to have to make some more of these important bus drives and whatever not you call them. So let's have a look at that. ME. Space. There we go. So we got a... Yeah, these are the ones that I was building. The precision import and export buses. So we're going to need tons of them. To make the basic one, we need interface. So it's quite a bit that we need to make them. And some of this Fluix dust. So let's make a few interfaces. We could drop our inventory somewhere. And then we can define these items. Alright, so the Fluix. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Kitty, be quiet. We need this Fluix dust. It's never quartz, certus quartz, and redstone. Alright, and doesn't seem we have any here. There we go. Quartz, certus quartz. Never quartz and redstone. Redstone. So let's go do the surface quartz dust. Let's boost that a bit. There we go. That's much better. <sighs> wow, tired. Where's the other one? Basic info dust. Yeah. So we're gonna need some sticky pistons. Let's go see how many we have. Uh, let's build four of each just to get us going with. So we need slime. Don't think he's defined the slime in here yet. That'll work. There's some Galgadorian metal, lovely stuff. There's the reinforced one, which you need to make Galgadorian. All good stuff. There we go, sticky piston. Wow, no idea what happened there. Seems to happen a lot when I'm recording. Okay. So we're going to need cable, we're going to have to make 8 of these conversion matrices, thingy, matrices. That's doing good. To be fair, that's probably enough. Probably don't need more than that, so let's take that do that there we go S put all that back here we go lovely uh, so we got some fluix dust uh, where is this thing we 
we need naval courts, fleet stars, circus courts, and iron ingots. So, circus courts, naval courts, iron. As you can see, we got plenty of iron. So we take this iron that we have. Let's just do this. You know, spare pulverizer. Oof. Uh, did the wow. Things move about a lot. All right, let's do that. My apologies for the noise outside. We really need more than that. Well, in case we're limited by that, then. We'll craft more. Um, what's this? Why did he make another access terminal? Anyway, we can use that for one of the wireless things. I wonder if you can put pulverized iron in one of these. Yeah. Lovely. Should be enough. Let's go finish our uh, little crafting. No, that's not what we need. There we go. Two day, two day, two and two, two, one two, one two, one two, and one two. Eight, lovely. Now I do know we need some uh, cable, that should be plenty. To make the conversion matrices we need glass. We got plenty of sand because we quarry it in the ocean. But we still need to burn up a lot of it. And there's some more iron. Okay. How much glass do we need? Three times eight. It's eight sixteen twenty four. What's this? Slime flitch. Wow. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. That should be plenty. And here we go. We want to make a. Uh oh. Where is it? <coughs> Emmy Bridge. Okay, never mind. Alright. <laughs> Excuse me. Wow. This is really not being a terrible video. I'm way out of it. And the cable. There you go, eight of them. Emmy cable, Emmy export bus. Now we need to do the basic export bus. And where's my iron? Wow. Can't have enough iron. So 
So is 22 enough then? We need 4, 16, yeah. So they're the export ones, they're the ones that will push into the pulverizers. The reason why I want to use pulverizers is just because of the extra 10% chance of getting something else. Alright. Then we want the ME Basic Import Bus, which is a sticky piston version. So we have 14 iron, so there's enough. Now to turn them into advanced ones, the so ones that we can actually define to pull entire stacks at a time, so you don't get any clogs, you need to just craft them alongside a CPU. One of our lovely many CPUs that we have. Not really, but you get a joke. Get some gold. Now we seem to be getting very little gold. Don't know why. I should just take this old pack. Uh, redstone. Need something else. Oh yeah, it's a silicon. No, it's not silicon. What's it called? I honestly can't remember. I suppose I could just look at it. Yeah, it's called silicon. I have a course dust. QU. Okay. So four. Have any left? I would think that the rate that he was producing, we would have tons. So I always like producing extra. Just ends up working better. You don't have to go back on yourself all the time. But you don't always get it. Have the opportunities to produce extra. You guys have to excuse me, I'm fairly tired, I'm not concentrating right. Been a pretty annoying day at work today. Just hold on a second guys, be right back. Alright guys, and we're back. Alright, so I believe we were busy making some more circuits or something. There we go. My quartz cutting knife. Wow, I just destroyed that knife. And the redstone. And we want f eight total. There we go, that's us. Alright, ME basic import. Gotcha. And right, yeah, basic. There's the import ones. Lovely. That's what we need. All right. So what we're gonna do is set up the pulverizers. So I think the easiest way is to put the pulverizer. Leave the pulverizer where it is. Put the furnace here, and then we can run that cable up here. That looks like a plan. There we go. Alright, so we want the export bus connecting there. Ah, there we go. So we can uh, break that cable out. No. There we go. Here's our spare cable. Alright, and we're gonna do 
tell define this one which ones to export so this will be all our ores that we exporting Ooh, it actually went all the way there so we're gonna export all our ores apart from yeah including one as it sorry all right let's see if we can reach there we go all right so we wanted to do gold iron copper let's do tin probably swap iron and gold because iron is a bit more important than gold I think and then we can do the ferris probably end up not doing the copper gravel copper iron gravel because we're not gonna get tons of it are we do lead do silver and monazit yeah, we'll skip them for the time being. It's not that important. Alright, so then we want to do pulverizer, adjust it so it imports from the bottom. Where's the setting to import from the bottom? Oh, there it goes. There we go. Lovely. And we want to export. So it's lost that setting to X, the one without the color code. Alright, let's see if this works then. Uh, export, import. Yeah, there's the import. Connect that up. Put in a cable. Let's see if it takes it. Yes, it's taking it. Whoa, I don't know you could do that. Fair enough. And move stacks at a time. And it's gone. Lovely. So all of that is currently going to into our uh, dusts, wherever that is. We need to make some more ovens. I think we'll probably end up stealing this oven for the time being. Yeah, why not? We can. Come back here, you bastard. adjust its settings so we want it to import from this side or we could do the bottom doesn't really matter and export from bottom so we do the import so this is the import into the network there and the export from the network it telling me we can't put that right next to it, this one that sucks all right well and that comes out that comes out where did that go now did I just lose it ah there it is pre-configured How did I pre-configure that? Weird. Anywho. So, we'll do... We're looking for the powered furnace. Lovely. And let's just change its face to this side. No! Oh my goodness. Where is it? Did I just lose that? Or did it just bounce back into here somewhere? There it is, it's falling. It's glitching out. So it's here somewhere, glitching out. There we go, we picked it up. Alright, so since we can turn these things import into the network yes right that's what we want that day pardon the noise and 
I can go out and put a powered furnace here. We could end up setting up another pulverizer probably, who knows. There we go, lovely. And it's just this one, so it pulls out of it. Is that right? Yes, that's right. right. Let's see how we're connecting our cables. Wow, that's messy. That's just weird. Oh well, anyway. There we go. Tons of ores being defined and whatnot. That in there as well. Sort our inventory. Doesn't want to sort, it's probably my button. And then we go put one, two, three, four, yeah, all seven of them into the oven. So we'll have you do iron and gold. Iron first, then gold, then copper. Tin and lead, silver and ferrous. Lovely. Now this one should be able to keep up. Damn it! Keep falling off. Entire stacks at a time. Now we're up to 25 units per tick. Either way, here's an easier way of doing this. We could set up the pulverizer to not import into this or exp yeah, import to this, but to push directly to the uh, oven. Well, two ovens, so if that's probably a better setup. I think we're gonna do that, just makes more sense to me. Yeah, and then you just extract out of the ovens, makes a lot more sense to me because one oven will not keep up with that. Let's take come out. That makes a lot more sense to me. So we're gonna make another oven. Should probably make some more in any way for the tree farm, which I probably will sh record in the next episode how it's running. All right, so we want some uh, glass. We want gold. I think we've used up all the gold. Little annoying kids on a tiny little moped nonsense making tons of noise. This pisses me off. Part of my language. Is that it? Wow, we really need more gold. Well, we don't need much now. So, come out today. 10. Did he do that one now? Alright. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Not that we're going to produce that much. I'm probably looking at building another. Let's look four. One, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. 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 There we go. Machine frames. Now I do know we're gonna need some uh, bricks, blocks, whatever you call them. 
so for we're not going to build that many ovens we will two for a year probably and yeah that should do us so we're going to need 16 bricks what is that experience so um, interesting and so i think you might be able to make something that collects experience there you go do that that at least gives us a full lot not not to find let us do that let's press u on that to see our actual recipe probably would be faster to just type it in oh my goodness what are these things 27 wow they've changed that you can actually use them now that's fairly interesting I, I think that was it yes powered furnace so copper rest and reception calls and we're only making two so I don't know why I'm doing all that there's some redstone one two one two and we need some copper then Hey, um, copper, lovely. And the redstone uh, reception call. Was copper redstone reception? What was at the top? I cannot remember. Was it more redstone? Let's try that. See if it works. Yes, indeed. So these are two furnaces put them in well we'll put one in put the pulverizer in should really just build another platform around this this is just taking way too much time let's just do that and put that cable back in There goes our quarry again. So the pulverizer. We're gonna import from the bottom, export from the sides into the ovens. Yes. Yes, that's the one that we want. The hell? Did I just destroy it? No, I lost the pre-configuration because I didn't take it out with a... Oh man, that sucks. <laughs> oh well, that's life. So is life. So this one that's pre-configured, what's that to? just empty so I should just break them out and they don't give the pre-configuration effect now we actually need two of them um, one day and one day yes no so we need to go define that as well so that can do that yes wow this one's still pushing really oh, well that can go do that is this one getting power? no because that's in a way oh man I might have to push a cable today and put that pulverizer up there or something I should have built another one. What a numpty. Hey? Oh. Where did this come from? Oh, it forced it down the line. So yeah. Intake from the left. When did I set that up? 
I don't remember setting that up. Must be going crazy. Alright, let's go get our ores again. So, we type in uh, ore. Dump all our gear. So we don't need that. We take some iron. Some uh, gold. No, where's, where's our gold? Ah, there's our gold. Suit left from right. Iron gold. Copper. Well, iron gold tin. Silver. Lead. These things are moving all over the place. Copper. Aluminium, gold, ferrous. There we go. That is our definitions. Iron, gold, tin, silver, lead, monazit, copper, ferrous. Right, and that needs to rotate so it shows up. Just add it. What a numpty. Alright. No. Alright, then we need to get power to this. Do we have any more? Must have power cable somewhere. Am I looking to my eyelids again? Probably. Ah, there it is. Let's get rid of all this. They can go in there, that's fine. we're making iron and why is it not there we go it's exporting so that has woken up that's awoken this is producing iron pulverizing iron good stuff so put this pulverizer back in here undo its definitions and he will probably want his furnace back There we go. And now we are automat uh, automatically pulverizing and burning up, you know, making ingots out of our stuff that we mine. Now it's a bit to set up, but once it's done, you know, it uses very little space. Whereas I know we've you know when you use industrial craft machines you're gonna have to have on this pack because you don't have red power installed you don't have any of the pneumatic tubing and the you know retrievers and whatnot you're gonna have to put in a bullcraft pipe there an engine or a uh, gate on it pump the stuff out it's gonna cause a ton of lag because you got items moving everywhere huge massive system that you're gonna have sorting system and all that Whereas now, these three blocks here, along with these three blocks here, is taking care of all of it. So that's really, really good, I think. All this pulverized iron that we have now, which is a bit unnecessary, we will push them through the oven at some point. If this, these things stand still at any point, we will chuck them in there. But in the meantime, we are making iron, and there you can see the iron is climbing up. Lovely. So what we'll do is, at some point, we will set up another pulverizer that's l linked to the system, and another oven. And in those, we will define, for instance, in a pulverizer, we can do stuff like turning cobble into sand, or, you know, cobble, in, yeah 
going to sand. You can pulverize cobble, make sand and gravel. So trash the gra gravel because we don't want it. And uh, we'll probably end up making a little trash chute or something, you know, uh, interconnect to a bullcraft pipe that runs into a void pipe. And you just define what items you want to trash. For instance, gravel. I'm not a big fan of gravel. But yeah, so then we can actually tell our quarry to send the cobble through. So we can let it build up till about 10,000 cobble, convert all of that into sand, and then convert all the sand into glass. Then again, 10,000 cobble into sand, and then 10,000 cobble into stone. And then we'll just probably store another 10,000 cobble. That way we are sorted on all our basic blocks for a long, long time to come. So we still have a ton of iron ore. To, this will take a while for you to process all of the stuff that we've been building up. But in the meantime, you know, come probably by the next episode or so, it will be fairly, I would reckon you'll be done with the iron and probably gold and, you know, done quite a bit, I reckon. But yeah, that works really well for me. I'm pretty happy with it. As you can see, we've had some damage around the place. Yeah, those are creepers spawning on the leaves and stuff and falling down attacking us from behind we are working on building a new little train you know then then we will have a 24 7 power system so your power system you, it's not that easy to get anymore well it never was because you have to get all the steel and all that sorted these engines are brilliant they are so fuel efficient but yeah, they're not really needed anymore if we got this thing going. Wow, 102 ticks from 12 ticks. It starts on 12 ticks now at max strength, 102 ticks. So we are probably busy building up a fairly decent supply in our little chests here. So I should probably change these pipes into diamonds so they actually fill them one by one by one. And then we can maybe put up another one run another quarry you know and yeah probably more than that I mean the storage system will start taking a lot of things a lot of MJ but you know this is nice and neat it's out of the way you don't see it but it works you know you can come check on it if you want to it's doing iron lots and lots of iron And I think then the next step is building the 64k discs to do with this, well, the next step to do with this story system. But it's probably not a bad idea to start working on some of the bees. You can see we're going up to 24 diamonds. Or well, it was on one when I started this episode. I don't know what the bees are doing there. Looks like they're moving or something. But yeah, every time we get a block up in the system, we just need to define it on the disc. I think the mob loot still needs a lot of definition and we got a ton of stuff so we're gonna work on sorting out these chests you know we've got a ton of stuff just lying about in chests and I do not like that. So I'll end up moving all this cobble and everything out sorting it all properly. We'll probably end up using the, all the 4k discs for like things like industrial craft you know make specific discs but there's a lot of items here that wasn't here before, so we might end up making quite a lot of this just to store all the items that we need. So we are standing on 55 gig on the this file, so not a very long episode. So I can't really think of much else that I want to do right now. Got the storage sorted. I mean, as you guys can see, we're doing fairly large amounts off screen because I don't want to reach episode you know, as average season runs for about 50 episodes, but I don't want to reach 50 episodes and then, you know, all you've seen me do is set up basic systems, you know, stuff that most people actually know how to do. So, yeah, I mean, our lava at this current present time only runs our industrial craft, which doesn't run that much anymore. It's just that. We don't have that engine running here anymore. So the lava should still last a long time. We have excavated quite a bit. I can go there to show you quickly. Not excavate, pumped. 
but it will be fairly laggy so just bear with it when you make that much lava move in the nether it always creates lag here we go let's see Yeah, so sorry for the videos not coming out so often. I'm fairly busy with work, you know, working seven days a week. It's quite tiring. I mean, I've been yawning quite a few times while making this video. <laughs> and it's five o'clock in the afternoon. Managed to leave a bit earlier today, but back at it tomorrow from a you know, two hour drive to work. And then it's another, you know, day from like eight in the morning till about six in the afternoon. and you know then i'm doing the weekend stuff it's just it's really knackering i'm not i'm not the machine but you know i need the money i want to move so you know just just gotta bite through it so to me it looks like the pump has been reworked so it actually pumps neatly so you don't have that much lava flow so what it did it started with its outside ring and then it's taking it out one block at a time going closer to itself so as you can see the lava flow looks a lot better than what it used to in the previous versions I don't know if any of you played on the previous versions but to me this looks a lot better it looks like a lot less lag and we're still on the first layer of the lava so it's probably has like it's, I don't know probably close to 10 odd layers there that we can pump out and by that time the lava flow will be a bit more but you know it looks uh, quite cool actually I think and yet once again I am using the vanilla texture pack I really want a new one this 8-bit graphics is a major eyesore and you know I did like the one that was a feat beast unleashed was it unleashed? Unle yeah, unleashed, un unlimited, something like that. It was quite good, you know, the one that came with the launcher. But they're not updating it yet, so yeah. So I know the texture pack that I use on vanilla Minecraft. Oh, I'm gonna kill some kids one day, I swear. Um, yeah, the one I use on vanilla by Minecraft is Feet the Beast uh, Enhanced. And that generally works very well. Well, it looks quite cool. It's a 256k texture, the one that I use. And that combined with Optifine is brilliant. But anyway, guys, I'll stop the episode here. Have a nice one.